There are many different ways to classify tongue tie, whether we talk about anterior or posterior tongue ties, or we introduce one of the many grading systems. So you can grade a tongue tie class one, two, three, or four, depending on which system that you use. What I would say is that it carries some relevance in that we are able to communicate effectively about the type of tie to other healthcare professionals, and the grading systems are also used for research in this area. What I wouldn't do is get too focused on the class of tongue tie that your child has, because although it carries some, some significance, it really isn't that important. The main thing to look for is how is that tie impacting function for your baby. Lip ties are very like a tongue tie. They can be especially short, thick or inelastic and thereby restrict the upper part of the, uh, the mouth. I can examine for this on the day of assessment and advise you accordingly. What I would say about lip tie is the evidence base is much less than for a tongue tie at present. Um, and unless very severe, you know, we often won't do, do much about that at the time. And the reason is they can stretch with time as opposed to tongue ties, which generally remain quite restrictive. Thank you.